In this creation, we're going to make a B space rotation, which is a step rotate that is included in the first person shooter template example. These have been scaled down so you can comprehend exactly how it's being done. And in this template, or this tutorial, we're going to show how to do only the step rotation, walking through what it is and how it exists, and then how we can make our own in the basic form. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up B-Space Rotate, which this is just the first-person shooter template. And then we'll look at what comes with the template. So I'm going to go ahead and open the example. And then I'm going to go into my Tools, Animation, Character Tool. I'm going to enlarge this, and then we're going to open the thirdperson.cdf. So over on to the right here, we have a blend space preview. If you have a default layout, which should just show the scene parameters and the properties, you come up to here and you click blend space preview, and we can begin to see how the blend space works. So as said before, we're just after the B space rotation. So we're gonna go into our characters, and we're going to select our sample character, third person, and then we're gonna go into animation, modus animation, and we're going to choose the rotate rifle. So we're going to be creating this B-Space from scratch, but in theory, what it has is it has three main animations. These are pseudo examples, which are just exaggerations of what the animation is. And you can just add those through here. But initially, we're just going to do these three animations and set them up. So if I were to press play, you would see that we now have rotations. In these three animations, which if I were to fly in, we have an idle, as shown right here, and then we have step rotations of right 90, idle, and then left 90. And these are just simple animations that actually interpolate between each other. And if I wanted to change that, I can go to the scene parameters and change the turn angle, which in real time, we now start to blend between the animations. So if you can wrap your head around that concept, this is exactly how the system, whenever there's movement inside of the engine, blends between these states of idle and then turning. So now let's go ahead and exit out of here. And I'm going to bring up Notepad++. So this right here is a bspace file. This is a basic one and the exact one that we're going to save out and build up. This is the one that you just saw. It has a few more things to it, but overall it just has the animations and some of the pseudo examples. So the first thing that we need to look at with this, and the most important, is the dimensions. And this is a parameter named turn angle, and since this is a one-dimensional B-space, you'll see it gives a min and max value of 1.57. One is negative and one is positive, and the key behind this is if you were to add both of these together, let's remove the negative symbol on it, it would create 3.14, which is pi. So we're taking the value of rotation through just the min and max value split. It's as simple as that regarding the turn angle. And then down here we have annotations. To keep this simple, I've just kept both of these and it's blending between 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in the animations and then we'll save it out and we'll have our own B-Space as far as step rotate built so you can use it in the template yourself. So let's go ahead and press Control S. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to drag it inside of here, inside of the Modus Anims B-Space. And I'm going to go jump back right in here. It says this doesn't exist anymore. Do I want to keep it? Say no. Now let's go back into the engine and we'll start building it up. So like before, let's open the example level. We have a little light going on. We'll do Tools, Animation, Character Tool. I'm going to enlarge this. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the third person .cdf like we had before. And if I go down into Animations this time with BSpace, you'll see that we have our rotate template. So double clicking this we can see that we don't have the properties up. Let me go ahead and reset the layout. 
and we have a turn angle like before, and we have our cell count of nine and the min and max values. But now I need to be able to add the examples. So I'm just going to add three examples. And inside of this, it says the example doesn't specify an animation name. And if we can remember, let's go ahead and start with one, which was the idle, right in between them. Scoot this up. We'll go ahead and add our blend space preview. Let me just close that for the moment. And what we want to do is add the idle that we had before. So I have rifle aim idle. Let's select that and press OK. So now we have a rifle aim idle in the middle, and we need to choose the step rotate right to actually go in the same order. And then we'll do step rotate left. And now with all of these built, we're able to see, if we play this back, a B space built of the three animations. And it's doing this based on the annotations that we had already set up between 0 and 1, and then 1 and 2. So now if I keep playing this, and I go and get my properties, so the scene parameters, and then we turn the turn angle, we can get the same extreme values of minus 1.57 and positive 1.57. And this in itself gives us the animation that we want strictly in the rotation of the B space that we desired. So it's as simple as that to set up just a simple thing that we've delivered inside of the template. And now we can move on to do the move strafe, which is a little bit more complex, but incorporates the same kind of idea.